This is my two terabyte Seagate external hard drive that I'm getting ready to disassemble and try putting the actual drive in my uh, desktop computer. Try and put it in this one. The Optiplex 960. There's a two terabyte drive right there. I pulled it out of its protective case that it came in. And it's the drive pegs that held it in place through the metal. Set down like that and then it snapped together on the sides. Like so. And then that whole thing set on this base, which you can see they're just normal set of two connectors. And the little white light right there would light up on the front to let you know it was on. It stayed on constantly, so that's the reason I decided if it's going to be on the whole time the computer's on, and I'll just go ahead and uh, pull it out of this case and stick it inside the computer if I could do it without breaking the case because I might need the case later on. But it worked out pretty good. Uh, let's see. Put my computer back together here. It snaps into place. I still need to blow this thing out so. But there's my NVIDIA video card. One gig. My, um, right below it, my Turtle Beach Montego uh, DL sound card. And that's about all I've got room for. I've got one more PCI Express slot right there that I don't have anything in. And then right under the sound card is an IMR slot, which there's other newer devices that you can put in stuff like that. I have no interest in any of them. I need to redo my memory. I've got four sticks of memory in there that equal that six gigs, I think. Yeah, two, two, two. Uh, each bank has two two gigabyte sticks in it. Now that'd be eight. Anyway, it's six gigs in the thing. So. I'd like to get a little bit more. See if they've got some of those four gig sticks and put in here. <coughs> the trick that I pulled for this is the um, second DVD drive I've got in here. I pulled the wires out and put them in that two terabyte drive for right now, just so that I can still use it. Because as you see, Genius Dell. I'll never understand why they gotta screw people over, but this is just something that I think was uh, uh, another way to get money out of people, which they've been known to do, but it's not a common thing. They put a hard drive cable in here with two with two uh, serial ATA connectors for the drive itself. And then they put one, shoot, I really needed an external light for this. But then they put one power wire in here for it. And I don't have another SATA cable that I can run from there, where all the other ones are at, down around all this stuff over to here. For the second drive. So what I'm going to do is go online and see if I can find that blue cable or find a, even if it's not blue, find another power cable that covers, that'll put power to both drives. Then I can reconnect my second DVD drive and I'll be in good shape. 
But, yeah, there you have it. There's a proof of my two terabyte uh, hard drive is actually showing up just fine inside the computer without the external drive case on it. Had to do some finagling, but I've got it in there and it's working.